Adobe Illustrator is used for vector drawing, which means you use it to create shapes and different types of paths. In this video, you'll find out what a vector path is made of by using different tools to explore paths in this project file. You can open this practice file if you want to follow along. Start by selecting the selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and come out to the artwork and click right on this line to select it. This is a straight path. Paths are composed of anchor points at the start and end of a simple path with a path or line segment connecting those anchor points. In a path like this, the anchor points control the length and direction of the path. Now let's look at a curved path like you see here. Select the zoom tool in the tools panel on the left and drag across this path to zoom in. Then select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left and click right on the curved path above the line. When you select a path with the selection tool, a bounding box surrounds the path, allowing you to resize, rotate, and transform the path as a whole. If you don't see this bounding box, choose View, Show Bounding Box to turn them on. Try dragging a corner of the box to see how it reshapes the path. In the Properties panel to the right of the document, you'll see the properties of the selected path. Notice that there's a stroke applied to this path, but no fill. Click the fill color, make sure the swatches option is selected, and then select the color. I'll select this blue. Notice that the stroke doesn't completely surround the fill. This path is called an open path because the anchor points on the ends of the path are not connected. Now to remove that color fill, choose Edit, Undo Apply Swatch. If you want to edit a path by adjusting the curve, for instance, you would edit the anchor points. To see the anchor points that control this path, Select the Direct Selection tool in the Tools panel on the left. The Direct Selection tool can be used to adjust the path and the individual anchor points. This can give you control over the shape of the path after you've created it. Move the pointer over the top anchor point of the curve. When you see the word Anchor, click to select the anchor point. You should see these lines coming from the anchor point now. These are called Direction Handles or Control Handles. Any anchor point you create can have these handles, and they can be used to curve a path and control the shape of that curve. Try dragging the end of a handle, and you'll see that the curve of the path changes. The last type of path you'll look at are shapes. A shape, like a circle or a square, is a closed path, since the starting and ending points of the path are the same. In other words, all the anchor points are connected one to another in this shape. With the Direct Selection tool selected, click the edge of this circle shape to select it. You should see four anchor points that control the curve of the path. Move the pointer over one of the anchor points, and then click to select it. You'll see the direction handles that control the curve. Try dragging this anchor point to move it. Then drag the end of a direction handle, and you'll see that the curve of the path changes. There are a lot of paths and shapes you can create in Illustrator, and all of them are made up of anchor points, paths, and when necessary, direction handles to create a curve. Understanding what paths are composed of is a great first step to creating and editing your own artwork in Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator has a variety of tools for drawing paths, including the pencil tool for creating fluid, beautiful curves and straight paths. To complete the artwork for this project, you'll start by drawing with the pencil tool, then set some pencil tool settings, and finally, you'll finish the artwork for the ship out here. You can open this practice file if you want to follow along. With the file open, notice the ship artwork on the left. You'll add the final shapes to that ship using the pencil tool. So to zoom into part of it, select the zoom tool in the tools panel on the left and drag across the upper left part of the artboard with the ship on it to zoom in. To select the pencil tool and start drawing, Press and hold on the paintbrush tool in the tools panel on the left. Then select the pencil tool from the menu that appears. Before you start drawing, you'll set a few properties. To set the stroke color and the stroke weight for the line you're about to draw, click the stroke color in the properties panel to the right. With the swatches selected, make sure that black is chosen. You can press escape to hide the colors. Also, make sure that the stroke weight is set to 1 here. In this case, the fill won't matter since it will be removed when you start drawing. To the left of the ship in a blank area, press and drag to create a curved path with the pencil tool. 
Drawing with the pencil tool is a lot like drawing with a pencil and paper. Even slight variations will show. To make pads you draw with the pencil tool smoother, you can edit the pencil tool settings. Double click the pencil tool in the tools panel on the left, and the tool options appear in a dialog box. Now to make the pads you draw smoother, drag the top slider all the way over to smooth. This will affect any new pads you draw with the pencil tool. So click OK and try drawing another curved path with the pencil tool. Notice that the path is smoother after you release the mouse button. Now you'll draw a part of the ship. You can follow these aqua guides as you draw if you like. Starting in the corner here, press and drag to begin drawing with the pencil tool and follow the aqua guides as best you can. When you return to the beginning of the path, a circle will show next to the pointer, meaning the path will be closed when you release the mouse button. So release the mouse button to close the path. You'll notice that this corner down here really isn't a corner. With the pencil tool, you can also redraw parts of a path, even paths not created with the pencil tool. To redraw part of a path, move the pointer onto the path. When the asterisk next to the pencil icon disappears, redraw part of the path you want making sure to finish back on the existing path. There. To change the color fill of the shape, click the fill color in the properties panel to the right, make sure the swatches are selected, and select this tan color. Now you'll move in the document window to another part of the document. So press the spacebar to access the hand tool temporarily, and drag in the document window to see the aqua guides at the bottom of the artboard. Then release the spacebar. Next, you'll draw this shape following the guides. This time, you'll see how to draw a straight line with the pencil tool as you draw. So starting here before drawing, press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows to begin drawing a straight line. When a line appears next to the pencil pointer, drag to create a straight line down to here. Without releasing the mouse button, release the key and continue drawing along the Aqua Guide. When you come to the top line of the Aqua Guide, with the mouse button still held down, press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and draw a straight line across the top. When the pointer reaches the starting point, a circle appears next to it. Release the mouse button and then the key to close the path. To set the fill color for the shape you just drew, click the fill color in the Properties panel and select this orange color. So that you can see all of the artwork, choose View, Fit All in Window. Now to complete this design, you're going to drag the ship onto the right artboard. So select the selection tool, drag across the two paths you created, and press backspace or delete to remove them. Then drag across all of the shapes to select them here. Drag one of the selected shapes to the artboard on the right, and there you go. Drawing with the pencil tool can be really fun, and it gives you a tool for creating fluid paths easily. Like with all the tools in Illustrator, take your time and practice creating in your own projects. The Curvature tool in Illustrator is a great way to create vector artwork easily. You'll use it to create the guitar artwork you see over here on the right by drawing the paths that make up this guitar and then assembling the shapes in the artboard on the right. If you'd like to follow along, you can open this file from the practice files for this tutorial. And with the file open, just to make sure that you can see all of the artwork, choose View, Fit All in Window. You'll start by zooming into the first area where you'll begin drawing. So select the Zoom tool in the Tools panel on the left, and drag across this purple area on the left to zoom in. You'll begin by drawing the body of the guitar here. So select the Curvature tool in the Tools panel on the left. The Curvature tool is used to create paths by clicking to set anchor points. Before you start drawing, though, in the Properties panel to the right, you'll change some appearance settings. So click the Fill Color, make sure the Swatches option is selected, and choose None so you can remove the fill while you draw. You can then press Escape to hide the colors. And then make sure the Stroke Weight is set to 1. These will be the fill and stroke settings for the artwork you're about to draw. Now the circles in the document out here indicate where you will click to set anchor points for a path. So starting at the top, Click to create the first anchor point. After you release the mouse button, move the pointer to the next circle and click to create another anchor point. After you release the mouse button again, 
move the pointer away, and notice that a curved path is created between these two points. Move the pointer around to get a feeling for how it's creating the curve. Then come to the next point and click to set it. Then move the pointer away again. As you draw with the curvature tool, you can edit the anchor points you've already drawn, even moving them, adding more, or deleting them. Come to the previous point you created and move the pointer over it. Click to select it. Drag that point to see how you can move them and reshape the path. Then drag it back where it was. Click to create the next point and continue clicking to create the points all the way around this shape. To close the path, move the pointer over the first point you created, and when a circle appears next to the pointer, click to close the path and finish drawing this shape. Now you can also create straight lines with the curvature tool, which is what you'll do next to create the neck of this guitar. So come over here and click to set the first anchor point. Then click to set the next point in the corner to the right and move the pointer away. Notice that the path has a curve. Now to make this path straight, Move the pointer over the last anchor point you created and double click on it. Then move the pointer away. The paths are now straight. You can also work faster by double clicking to create a point and make a straight line at the same time. So come to where the next point will go down here and double click to create an anchor point with a straight path. Then double click to create the next point. Come back to the original point you created and double click to close the path and finish drawing with a straight line. Paths you create with any of the drawing tools can also be edited with the curvature tool. To see artwork that you'll edit, press the space bar to temporarily access the hand tool and then drag in the document window so that you can see the orange area below. Release the space bar. To zoom into this orange area, select the zoom tool and drag across it. This shape needs a curve at the bottom, not a straight line. So next you'll add a new point and reposition it with the curvature tool. First you need to select the path. Select the selection tool in the tools panel and click the edge of the shape to select it. Then select the curvature tool again in the tools panel. Now with the shape selected, move the pointer over the bottom path. When a plus sign appears next to the pointer, click to add a point. Then drag that new point down to give the bottom of the shape some curve. Deleting a point is just as easy. You can actually click to select a point with the curvature tool and press backspace or delete to remove it. To finish the artwork, you'll drag all of the shapes you created into place. To see everything, choose View, Fit All in Window. Select the selection tool and drag each of these shapes by their edges, since they don't have a fill, into position on the right. With the curvature tool, practice makes perfect. Keep using it, and you'll be able to create all kinds of paths and shapes for your own artwork. Once you create artwork in Illustrator, you'll inevitably need to edit it. Using the artwork in this practice file, you'll select and move anchor points on paths using the direct selection tool, and then you'll learn how to reshape paths, and then edit paths with the curvature tool. You'll start by selecting and editing this circle. So select the zoom tool in the tools panel on the left so you can zoom into it, and drag across the circle shape. If you want to resize or rotate or otherwise transform a shape like the circle, you would select it with the selection tool in the tools panel. Now to see and edit the anchor points for a path, select the direct selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and then click the edge of the circle. The anchor points that make up the shape will appear. You'll learn about the parts of the path in the first video in this section, Understanding Paths and Curves. Click one of the anchor points and move the pointer away. You can tell an anchor point is selected because it's filled with a color. Then move the pointer back over that anchor point and drag it to see how it affects the shape. You can try that for any of the points in the shape. Now you'll work on paths at the top of the artboard. At times you'll need to pan and zoom in a document to work on different parts. To do that, you'll access the hand tool. So press the space bar, drag in the document window, and pan across to see the top of the guitar at the top of the artboard. Then release the space bar. If you need to zoom out a little bit, you can choose View, Zoom Out. Now the direct selection tool can also select and adjust paths. So move the pointer over a path and click to select it. 
with the pointer over the path, you'll see this curved arrow, which means you can reshape the path by dragging. So drag this curved path to try to reshape it. Now you'll move to another part of the artwork and see how dragging a straight path works. Press the space bar to access the hand tool again. Drag in the document window so you can see the path with the straight line down here. Then release the space bar. Move the pointer over the edge of this shape and click to select it. Like the path above, you can drag the curved parts of this path to reshape them as well. But move the pointer over this straight path, drag the path, and notice that it moves as a straight line. This method moves the path instead of reshaping it since it's not curved. Drag that path up just a little bit to reshape it. Now you'll go back up to the top of the guitar to start editing with the curvature tool. So press the space bar to access the hand tool, drag in the document window to pan to the top of the guitar, then release the space bar. If you find yourself with a path or shape that needs editing, and moving anchor points or reshaping paths isn't enough, you can create, delete, and edit anchor points using the curvature tool. Select the curvature tool in the tools panel on the left. Then click on this path to select it, and you'll see the anchor points for this path. Now to convert a path from a curve to a straight line or the other way around, you can double click an existing anchor point with the curvature tool. So move the pointer over this anchor point, and double click to make the paths straight. To completely change the shape of the path, like in this area, you can even add or delete anchor points. Move the pointer over the edge of the path and when a plus appears, click to add a new anchor point. Try dragging that anchor point to reshape the path. When you're finished, move the pointer down the path a bit and add another anchor point by clicking. Drag that new anchor point to reshape the path. To deselect everything, choose Select, Deselect. And then to see all the artwork, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Now that you know some methods for editing paths, you'll be able to make changes to paths in your own artwork, whether it's fine-tuning a logo design or editing artwork for signage and a whole lot more. In Adobe Illustrator, you can clean up and create paths in an illustration by joining paths. In this video, you'll use the join command to join paths together. If you'd like to follow along, you can open this file from the practice files for this tutorial. At the top of the artboard is a logo. On the right side is the finished logo, and on the left is a series of separate paths. To complete the logo on the left, you'll join some of these paths together, so this artwork looks like the finished logo on the right. To zoom into the artwork so it's a little bit easier to see, Select the Zoom tool in the Tools panel on the left, and drag across these paths on the left to zoom in. Then to select the paths, select the Selection tool in the Tools panel, and drag across the two outside paths to select just them. To join them together so that they're just one path instead of two, choose Object, Path, Join. The paths are joined where the anchor points overlapped. This is now one path. Joining works on open paths, but not on paths that are closed, like a circle or a square. Now you'll join the two paths in the middle. Drag across the two middle paths here to select them. Be careful not to select anything else. Then to join them, choose Object, Path, Join. They are now one path. Let's do the same for the smallest paths here to select just them and join them. So drag across these paths, to join them, choose Object, Path, Join. You now have three paths. To complete the logo design, you need to join these paths together in different ways. So click the smallest path to select it if it's not already selected. Then press the Shift key and click the path in the middle to select both of them. You're going to join these two paths together. So choose Object, Path, Join. Illustrator joins the ends of the two paths together with a straight line. The ends of the paths that are closest are typically the first to be joined. If you were to choose the join command one more time, the last two ends would be joined with a straight line and the path would be completely closed. Now you'll join this selected path with the first path you joined. So press the shift key and click the first path. This time you'll use a keyboard command for joining instead of going up to the menu. Press Command and J on Mac 
or Ctrl and J on Windows to join the two ends of the selected paths with a straight line. To give the path ends a rounded appearance, click the word Stroke in the Properties panel to the right of the document and select Round Cap so that you can round the ends of the paths. This logo is now complete. Now you'll join some artwork at the bottom of the artboard. So press the spacebar to temporarily access the hand tool, then drag in the document window so you can see the artwork down here. Next you'll finish this eye icon using the join command. You need to copy and flip this curved path first. So with the selection tool selected, click the path to select it. To copy it, choose Edit, Copy. And then to paste a copy in the same exact position on top of the original, choose Edit, Paste in front. With it selected, now you'll flip it. In the Properties panel, click the Flip Along Vertical Axis button here. Now to drag it into position. Drag the new path so that the ends align with the original path, and Smart Guides should let you know when they're aligned with each other. If you don't see the Magenta Smart Guides, you can choose View, Smart Guides to make sure that they're on. Okay, now to join these paths. Drag across both paths and press Command and J on Mac or Control and J on Windows to join the ends of the selected paths. Now to join the other end. Press Command and J on Mac or Control and J on Windows once more to join the other ends of the selected paths. To finish the logo, you'll fill the shape with a black color. So click the Fill Color in the Properties panel, make sure the swatches are selected, and then click to apply this black color. To arrange the black shape behind the other eye shapes, press the Escape key to hide the colors. Click the Arrange button at the bottom of the Properties panel and choose Send to Back. To deselect all the artwork, choose Select, Deselect. Then to see all the artwork, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Now you know how to join paths using the Join command. In your own projects, you can use joining in a lot of different ways, including to combine two mirrored paths to create artwork that's symmetrical.